This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Great sequence of strikes there. Here we go. With your hands. Yeah, you're starting to fall apart. I love it. Let's get after it. Keep working on that boxing damage. That's what I need. Got 30. Let's go. Oh, wow. Wow. Yes. That punch damaged him. Yes. Let's go. Not bad. Not great, but not. Fast, smooth, strong. That's what we're doing today. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Man, your next opponent is going to be no match for you. Yeah, good job, good job, good job. Steady kick. Step it up. 30 seconds. Nice. Nice, good. Now we're putting your strikes together. Come on. Hey, great job in there. Beautiful kicks with high volume. Nobody can stand up. Today, we're really going to tighten it up. Here we go. That's 
okay. You showed some good progress today. Let's try it again tomorrow. Nice. And now we're putting these strikes together. Much damaged him, right? Power. I love it. Let's go. <gasps> yes, that's it. Keep those combos coming. Come on, thirty. and heavy punches. You ready? Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Next opponent is going to be no match for you. And 30 to go. Beautiful work today. You did awesome. Look sharp, kid. That's what I like.
All right. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush it. Drill, drill, drill. Why? Because repetition is the mother of all skill. That's why. Let's go. Got 30. Nice, nice. That was some good kickboxing. Just remember, always set up your kicks. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, it's always tough when you draw that high-level wrestler who has a lifetime of experience in a one-on-one -on -one competitive situation. Prevailing wisdom is he'll have the wrestling advantage in this one time. As his dad said, the moment he introduced him to the sport, he knew that he was made to be a wrestler. The kid slept in his headgear. He only wants to wrestle, and by doing that, he puts you in danger. He's constantly in your face, constantly trying to dig at your gas tank. He goes from transition to transition, single to double to high crotch. It does not matter the attack. He just knows that he will give you so much to process in terms of the wrestling that eventually he will get you to the ground. You ever sleep in your head gear? I sleep in my head gear. All the time. All the time. All right. Big one for Olympia tonight. Let's get to it. All right, here he is for my money. Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight. Maybe he'll strike makes him a hard guy to prepare for. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Rothwell is 14 years the elder. He weighed in at 265 pounds. He will have a four inch reach advantage. And once again, here is the veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. 
Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of five wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the Executioner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 39 wins, 13 losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Kenosha, Wisconsin, Ben Rothwell. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Well, his last fight will be a tough act to follow as we get ready for round one here. Brutal knockout his last time out, and that positioned him for this opportunity here tonight. So, can he keep the momentum going? As the challenges get stiffer, keep the winning... Oh! Back to the feet! into the books as a first round win by knockout near perfect execution the technique was absolutely gorgeous and again when you catch a guy early maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight so a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory that could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the Octagon first buffer with the official decision. Is called to stop for this contest at 43 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the executioner. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.
All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. You felt that one. Man, the next opponent is 
gonna be no match for you. Wow! Nice! That boxing damage. That's what I need. Come on now, you got 30. Beautiful combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on it. Great job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Pinpoint. All right, at least now we know what we have to work on, right? Good job. Nice work in there. Nice. Come on. 30 seconds left.
All right. I want to see you kill it today. Let's go in there and crush it. Excellent work. You dominated today. Good work. Combination. Keep it up, put the pressure on it. Yes, the kickboxing damage. Exactly. That's it. Work on that kickboxing damage. 30 seconds. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Your kicks are on point. Anytime you want to throw it, let it go. Okay, BJJ 101. I want to see maximum efficiency and minimal effort. Be smart with your traps, and don't expend too much energy looking for that submission. Let's go. That's it. Keep those combos coming. Awesome job. Let's move on. Don't let that happen. Listen, you got to improve position. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Awesome combo. That's what we want. Wasn't your best day, but tomorrow will be better.
This round, I just want to see heavy punches. Let it go. Oh, nice punch. Nice punch. He felt that one. Good, good. Moving on to the next one. Now, listen to my call outs. Right, 30 seconds left. Listen, you keep training like that, and no one will catch you. Good work on the bag today. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Prelims, no more. Here he is making his way to the octagon. This is the first time in his UFC career he has worked his way to the main card. He has strung together some wins, looking at the rankings, and this guy appears like he belongs. A lot more eyeballs on him tonight. The audience is bigger, his popularity has grown leaps and bounds. We'll see if he can handle that pressure and perform the way he has that led to this main card slot here tonight. martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Tonight. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. Or 
one tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Verdum is 18 years the elder. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. We set it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a wrestler holding a professional record of six wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the Executioner. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 25 wins, 10 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Fabricio Bacavallo Bacu. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. So here we go early round one, and as many of you know, this is his first time on the main court. He's been a Freeland machine. Oh! Back to the feet. Whoa! Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Also, the taller fighter lands a knee yet again. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. He's done! He's done! Now he shades the triangle. And this could be trouble here. Looks like it's pretty tight. He's trying to work his head out of harm's way. It, it might be over. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. Oh, man, that was slick. Back to the feet now. Oh, he might be in trouble here after that big diving punch. Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Oh, nice job by the longer, taller fighter to land a flush knee to the head. Two minutes to go. In a balance of tight on triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. <laughs> Nicely done. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Verdun. Oh, nice job to get back up again. You don't oh, that was a nice job to stick with it there to complete the takedown. Big double leg, no change. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. Just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming. So back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. Well, he's going to enjoy watching this one back. Let's take a look at the replay of the knockout just a moment ago. It was right hand after right hand after right hand. Finally, he found the one that hit the exact sweet spot that ended his opponent's night. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. The decision 
is inside the octagon. It resides with Bruce Buffer. At four minutes, 24 seconds of the very first round. Playing the winner by knockout, the executioner. Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not after a knockout like that? I need a ticket to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.
All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huge punch. I like it. That must have hurt. Big punch. Yes, 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 yes. What a bruise. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Nice punch! All right, let's see what you got today. Speed and power, that's it. You're following directions perfectly. Great job. Here we go. are on point. Anytime you want to throw it, let it go. Thank you. 
for the day. I'll call it out, you throw. Your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. Great job in there. Your timing is really on point. Let's go. 30 on the clock. Excellent job today. Better than lap. Fast, smooth, strong. That's what we're doing today. There it is! That's how you move! Nice strike. That'll keep him honest. Hey, good job today. You really crushed it out there. And 30 to go. Listen for my instructions, all right? Let's go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you.
30 seconds. Let's go. Man, your next opponent is gonna be no match for you. That's what I like to see. We're gonna time the shoot and get the takedown. Shoot and get that takedown. That's it. That's the way you put him on his back. Come on, keep going. Combination. I love it. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. <laughs> yes, that's the way you put him on his back. Come on. Beautiful combination. Keep it up. Put the pressure on him. Let's go. 30 on the clock. All right. Great job. I need... Today, I want to see you sharp and quick. Drill, drill, drill. Why? Because repetition is the mother of all skill. That's why. Let's go.
All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. So here is the veteran Alexi Olenek. This dude has almost 60 professional wins in MMA in a career that dates to 1996. It's unbelievable when a guy can fight for so long and still be so relevant. Alexi Olenek, late in his career, has made a run at trying to become a UFC champion. That was a time when no one ever thought that was possible. But when you're landing Ezekiel choke after Ezekiel choke, getting performance of the night bonuses four times against guys like Mark Hunt, Victor Pesta, Jerry Rochelle, People will take notice, and Alexi Olenek is that guy that puts you on notice the moment you go in the octagon with him. I mean, he's got scarf hold, headlocks, uh. Ezekiel chokes out the wazoo. Alexi Olenek, back-to-back -back main events against Mark Hunt and Alistair Overeem, still trying to chase down his first UFC title shot. All right, so we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, Fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in fly paper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, a lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The Canadian is 27. The Russian is 45. He is two inches taller. He will have a six-inch reach advantage. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 60 wins, 18 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Alexei the Boa Constrictor Alingan. And now, here's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A wrestler, holding a professional record of seven wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, the Executioner. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Round one, this is a devastating knockout force of the highest order. Look at the highlight reel, starting to compete with some of the best we've ever seen in the U.S. Oh! Oh, he might be out. That one landed clean. Well, if you saw the tail of the tape, he has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come. He hurt him. Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. That's a big strike right there. goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him cold before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit. Those strikes can have a bigger effect and it certainly did here tonight. Well, hard to perform much better than he did tonight. A huge knockout under the lights. They'll be talking about that one for some time. Bruce Buffer has the Ladies official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest. At one minute, 21 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, the execution. 
executioner. Much there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.